Warning, reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate Talos 1. Microgravity detected. Warning, reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate Talos 1. Warning, reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate Talos 1. Warning, reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate Talos 1.
Imminent. Please evacuate Talos 1. Aperture cleared. Warning, reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate Talos 1. You made it. Look, I know what happened. You aren't solely to blame. You helped me and my officers when we needed it. I'll be sure to let Earthside know what you did to help us in the cargo bay. <laughs> Thanks again for letting me out. I won't forget it. You are a real decent human being, Morgan, you. Now come the fireworks. I hope there'll be enough. You know, I thought you had left the station because of what happened between us. And that I had lied to you about my condition. I was angry with you. And myself. But I'm glad you are here with me now. And I like who you have become. You have my father's strength. Dr. Yu. Morgan. It was an honor to work with you on Talos. And your brother. And thank you for retrieving Lightner's remains. Maya always loved the sound of his playing. I couldn't let it die with the station. His was a rare gift, and his skill should be shared. Not only with me, but with others. Mom was right. You hear that, Mom? You were right. But it was my decision. Ready or not, starting debark operations. Pre-flight check is who gives a shit. Hang on to your seat. This will be a rough ride. It's finished. How did it do? Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy quotient shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming. That nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise, and later, it recovered the Leitner connectomes. They were of no practical use, except that they were deeply meaningful to me. It's remarkable that it never installed a single Typhon-based neuromod. In my view, this demonstrates a strong identification with us, but its most surprising act was sparing Da. While perhaps for purely selfish reasons, this, at least in principle, enabled others to escape Talos One. Michaela. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? It also found my father's records. And then, I did not expect this. But it let me listen to them. Despite the self-incriminating content, it was willing to make itself vulnerable. Then, there was a man in psychotronics, Ingram. It let him go. Was that mercy? Would you let it live? Yes. 
Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dar's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It found me. It didn't need to, but it did. I asked it to stop Volunteer 37. That was dangerous. No way to be sure, but I think it has a sense of retribution. A lot of humans controlled by the Typhon ended up dead. Not that it was easy to avoid, but... I think it's worth the risk. In the end, it chose to destroy Talos One. Why? To protect her? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we have to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. This is the world today. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean, really see us. Take my hand if you do.